All right, in this video, I wanna go over live view and views. So from your default screen, go ahead and open up live view. On the left, it's gonna show you all the different NVRs or DVRs you have access to. Chances are you're only gonna have one. Um, for this demonstration, we're just gonna use Vickers graphics since that's what I used on the previous video. So on the left here, you'll see your NVR and you have a drop down. This is going to show you all the different cameras and their names that are attached to that NVR. If you double click one, it'll open up that view. And if you notice up here in the top left of that view, it says substream. This is what I was talking about before. Notice it's only doing 260-ish uh, kilobytes. But if you right click, you can change that stream type to main. Now we're getting the full 4K resolution. You're taking a lot of data to get this image to you now. Doesn't help that it's rainy and the camera's wet, but here's full quality. Change it to substream. Just notice you lose a lot of detail. Now, keep in mind, even if you're viewing substream, the NVR is still recording in the 4K quality. It's just what it's displaying on your personal screen. And to keep things running smooth on your computer, I just recommend it being the substream, especially if you have a lot of cameras. It just makes it a lot easier to keep things running smoothly on your PC and not overtaxing all of your computer components. So we'll go ahead and close that one. So say you want to open up all of them. Double click on the on the main title here for the NVR. And this is going to open up all the different cameras that are available. You'll see at the bottom you can have different options here to switch to different sets. Or, if you slide even further to the right, you have the option to switch it to 9, you got a 16, you got 36, you can go to the custom split, you can pick different pre-made designs, this is one of my favorites, just because you can have like one big one. You even have one where you can come in here and you can customize it. So say, oh, I want a grid here, but I want my top left corner to be a big camera. Delete it out, hit OK, and then it gives you that grid. And you can come to the list and you can move whatever cameras you want, however you want. And once you get a setup that you like, like for me, at this location, this is where my office is, I like going for the four, four view. And the only thing I'm really watching when I'm here is the outside. So I'll pull up my out, outside exterior cameras, and then I'd like to make it a logical wrap around which this pretty much is then if you notice we have these bars on the side because we're in the substream if you come down here and you switch this to full it'll give you the full image so get get the layout that you want to save this is for review get the layout you want to save like this one and then come down here to the bottom left and you can save this view so then with that view saved let's go all the way back and I'll show you how you just instantly pull up that view. So from your default screen, come in here to Live View, go to Views instead. Vickers Outside's down here. You click it, and it's gonna open up those four cameras. If you have another one saved for like all of them, like I do for here, click it, and it opens them all up. This way, every time you come in, you don't have to, you know, sit here and pull out your favorite cameras. You're going to have a set, you're going to have certain cameras that you want to watch all the time. You're going to want to watch your front door. You're going to watch the, the outside lots. So it's like, get, get your screen set up and save views. It makes your life so much easier and it makes it a lot quicker to be able to use the software.